Summer had arrived at last in the little kingdom of Arendelle. Summer had arrived at last in the little kingdom of Arendelle. Even the youngest ice harvesters were hard at work. Summer had arrived at last. Even the youngest ice harvesters were hard at work, gathering ice for the warm months ahead. As night set in, they headed home with the northern lights to guide them. Inside the castle, Princess Anna excitedly awoke her older sister Elsa. Together, they sneaked into the Great Hall, where Elsa delighted Anna by creating a magical frozen playground. Rotate your device for Elsa's side of the story. Anna didn't remember getting hurt that day, or that the king and queen took her to the trolls. She just remembered all the fun she'd had with Elsa. Days went by, then weeks. Anna missed Elsa. Elsa never came out of her room to play anymore. Anna tried to play by herself, but she was still very lonely. Finally, Elsa's coronation day arrived. Anna loved seeing the gates open. It was so exciting to meet the guests, especially Prince Hans. He was handsome and, well, fun. Anna couldn't stop thinking about Hans. Then, when she saw Elsa crowned queen, Anna wanted to clap and cheer. She was so happy. And later, Elsa actually talked to her. When Anna saw Hans again at the ball, they danced the night away. Then he asked her to marry him. And yes, she said yes. But when Anna approached her sister, the queen, Elsa didn't seem happy at all. As Elsa walked away, Anna reached out and accidentally pulled off her sister's glove. Ice shot from Elsa's hand and spiraled across the room. No, why? Why do you shut me out? Why, why do you shut the world out? What are you so afraid of? I said enough! Without intending to, Elsa froze nearly everything in sight. Anna stared in awe. She hadn't meant to upset Elsa. Anna felt terrible. Anna needed to help her sister. And she needed Elsa to thaw out their kingdom. Everyone was panicking. Leaving Prince Hans in charge, Anna raced after Elsa up into the mountains. But she didn't get far. Uh, snow. It had to be snow. She couldn't have had tropical magic that covered the fjords and white sand and warm... Fire! <laughs> Summer was definitely gone. Everywhere. Anna stopped at Oaken's trading post, the only warm place in the middle of nowhere. She met an ice harvester named Kristoff, who knew where the coldest mountain was, which meant maybe he could help find Elsa. Kristoff's best friend was his reindeer, Sven. He even spoke for Sven. And that was weird, but okay, except that Kristoff almost refused to help Anna. 
So Anna put her foot down and told him she knew how to stop the sudden winter. When he heard that, Kristoff agreed to help. Soon, the trio met a talking snowman named Olaf. Funny, Anna remembered him from her childhood. And wow, she was amazed by all the other frozen things Elsa had created. I'm Anna. And who's the funky looking donkey over there? That's Sven. Uh-huh. And who's the reindeer? Sven. Oh, the oh, okay. Make things easier for me. <laughs> I'll look at him trying to kiss my nose. I like you too. At last, Anna reached Elsa's extraordinary ice palace. Kristoff waited outside with Olaf and Sven so that Anna could have some time alone with Elsa. Anna was surprised when Elsa greeted her. She looked so different. And, and they were talking. Maybe they could do that in Arendelle, too. But first, the winter had to stop, and Elsa needed to make that happen. Anna could see that Elsa was upset. She tried to help, but Elsa seemed out of control. Anna watched helplessly as several icy blasts exploded from Elsa's hands. One of them hit Anna. Elsa created a giant snowman to show Anna and her friends out. But when Anna accidentally aggravated him, the snowman chased them. Anna and Kristoff ran and escaped over a cliff with Olaf and Sven. Kristoff took Anna to the trolls. The trolls said that Elsa had put ice in Anna's heart. That meant Anna would freeze forever without an act of true love. True love. Anna needed Hans. After Kristoff helped her get home, Anna found Hans. But he refused to kiss her. Hans didn't really love Anna. All along, he had just wanted to take over as King of Arendelle. Anna felt hopeless as Hans left her alone to freeze. Olaf found Anna and told her that it was Kristoff who truly loved her. If Anna could find Kristoff, then she might be saved. Kristoff was racing back to find her right now. Racing across the fjord, Anna spotted Kristoff. At the same moment, she also saw Hans. He was going to hurt Elsa. In a final act to save her sister, Anna threw herself between Hans and Elsa. Hans' sword struck Anna. Slowly, Anna felt some warmth flowing through her frozen body and heart. By saving Elsa, Anna had performed an act of true love. This was the true love that the trolls had meant. Anna felt wonderful. She was alive and warm and Elsa had hugged her. Hans was taken away, but Kristoff decided to stay near Anna for a while. Queen Elsa approved.
Later, Elsa created a bit of winter for herself and lots of summer for everyone else. She even opened the gates to the kingdom. Anna was pleased. So was Elsa. Together, the two sisters decided that they would never close the kingdom gates again. Disney Frozen Touch the screen to create a snowflake Try to make frozen swirls like Elsa's Tap an arrow to switch between drawing tools. Touch the screen to create a snowflake. Try to make frozen swirls like Elsa's. Use the ice tool to draw a frozen palace. Use the eye. Tap the screen to start the frozen puzzle. Slide each ice piece to the matching shape on the side.
Tap the screen to start the frozen puzzle. Slide each ice piece to the matching shape on the side. Thank you. 